does your migraine get triggered by bright lights strong smells and loud noises well this video is just for you migraines affect more than 1 billion people each year across the world according to a study migraine is the second leading cause of disability affecting 24% of the population worldwide and those with migraines are also 2.5 times more likely to develop depression when you get a migraine you typically experience recurrent pulsating headaches on one side of the head which is accompanied by many other symptoms like nausea sensitivity to light sound or strong smells what i have noticed many of my clients who have recurrent gut issues or issues like inflammatory bowel disease are more prone towards developing these headaches so are migraines and the gut linked in any way yes changes in gut bacteria play a significant role in how a person experiences migraine headaches studies suggest that an unhealthy gut leads to an increase in the intestinal permeability also known as the leaky gut allowing a lot of pathogens and toxins to enter now this triggers our immune system leading to a release of a lot of chemicals like cytokines and interleukins now these particular chemicals actually trigger our trigeminal nerve which is responsible for the major pain pathway in our head now these nerve fibers are very sensitive to inflammation and their activation can lead to an onset of a migraine headache now when there is a lot of inflammation in the gut it reduces the levels of short chain fatty acids which triggers the release of tnf alpha which is a very inflammatory chemical and it might be involved in migraine like pain studies also show that people who have migraines have a different composition of gut bacteria for example i came across a study which showed that people who experienced migraine headaches had lower levels of good bacteria such as lactobacillus and bifidobacterium compared to people who didn't have migraine a study looked at the impact of probiotics on migraine headache now in this one they supplemented probiotic strains along with some other nutrients for 3 months and 80% of them experienced significant improvements in their quality of life and more than half of the individuals experienced pain relief in their headache in one study they supplemented the participants with 14 probiotic strains for about 10 weeks and they saw a reduction in the migraine severity and migraine attacks in the probiotic group as compared to the placebo group now if you focus on improving your diet and making it a bit gut friendly by including appropriate amount of fiber adhering to low glycemic foods and including supplementation of vitamin d omega 3 and probiotics can really improve the diversity of bacteria in your gut and also lead to improvements in migraine headaches